could do this with Mummy. It's very rare that Mum gets to spend time with Chantelle alone because the boys are always involved. So I set up a nice time for the girlies to have fun together. I would say you dropped this for me <laughs> Oh, I see how you are. I don't want the purple. Purple, pink, purple. Everything was going great. And then suddenly, Chantel just snapped. Hey, uh, uh... <laughs> Don't. No, that's enough. No. Do not hit me. Hitting is not okay. How does this make this special time with you hitting me? Chantel. Hey, Don't. Hey. Chantel. That behaviour really isn't acceptable. You don't spit. Oh, it's so discouraging. Because that's what's been happening in the past. And I just so am, was hoping that it was going to be different. Your frog. Turn around, please. Your frog. And right now, you are a little girl who is behaving not nice. I don't like Super Nanny. She's mean. If I talk to you, young lady, I expect you to listen. Now, you owe your mother an apology for your behaviour. I'm talking to you, Chantel. I suggest you think about what you've done. I would like you to take Chantel to the thinking pond, OK, for her to think about her behaviour. I do. Now, I want you to sit on the thinking pond no. and think about it. After Chantel got off the thinking pond, I pulled her aside so that I could have a word with her about her behaviour. Well, if you want alone time with Mummy, OK, what you've got to do is to make sure that when you are with Mummy, that you treat her nicely. I definitely knew I'd made that little girl think because she got up from the thinking pond and she apologised. I'm sorry. Yeah? 